what's going on YouTube right in frame here with um part two of my 62 Impala um I made a lot of headway on it you know I've gotten like pretty far on it I mean the body's pretty much ready for paint well ready for primer than paint um I did set the engine in it today just to mock it all up so I can see what it all looks like so I can try to figure out a color or... I mean I have some ideals for colors but my ideals have changed and then they've gone back to what they were going to be and, um, so it's a 409 engine the stock 409 I just did it real stock looking I, did, I wanted just to go like a nice clean custom like a stock custom like it's bag it's, it's got some custom stuff to it but it's still pretty stock um, so I just really did a nice clean stock engine, stock 409, I didn't dress it up too much, didn't go too crazy with it. Um, I still got to put my hinges for the front. Uh, the interiors hasn't changed, you guys all seen that yesterday. It's still, you know, the red on red. Um, hopefully I'll paint in a couple days and I can paint my dash and my rear deck piece which has the, a little bit of a indent in it which is going to look real nice when that's all custom painted right there um, I did open up the trunk but I got I think I'm going to have to redo my hinges because they don't hold the trunk up you know when I open it unless it's unless it's uh, propped up I just think I didn't you know I had a bend wrong so it's a little loose well, I just gotta tighten them up a little bit, but um, as you can see, I did put I'm putting a small like little five gallon air tank in the rear for all the air ride for it. That's gonna be all wired up and painted probably red to match the car. Um, the small tank here is gonna be a small like old school like a Moon Eyes uh, fuel filter with a little cap, and it'll actually it's sitting inside this little divot right there. It won't be sitting there. It'll be up a little bit more with the cap on top. And I'm going to build a little wall back here on the back half. Because you can see you can see some of my notch stuff. And it doesn't look the prettiest right there. So we're going to build a wall to hide all that. Clean it up a little bit. Um, I'm not going to fill this all in. I mean, I thought about filling it in here and then filling it in on the sides and making it like a custom. But... I, still, I want to keep it pretty stock, so it's not going to be all dressed up or anything. It's just going to be a nice, simple tank in the back, air tank right there. I did do all the jams on the edge, as you can see. I still got to wait and put my chrome piece in. I got to cut that all out and then glue it to here so it opens like it's supposed to open. Um, I got all my body work finished today, and I got it all smoothed out. It's ready for primer and paint. Um... I've got, I've got a few comments and messages asking me what color I'm going to paint it. As of right now, it's kind of up in the air. Um, you know, at one point in time, I was going to do a, like a bright red. And that still may very well happen. Um, I was going to do a, a nice gloss black paint job. I thought that would look really nice with the red interior. I thought that would really look, you know, real nice and custom. Um, I'm kind of going back and forth. I mean, I'm most likely I'm probably going to go with the bright red, but I've also thought about glittering the roof, like on my um, 62 Buick. That whole glitter, I've thought about doing that to the roof of this, but with like maybe a silver and then shoot it with like a candy red you know pinstripe some tape around the edges and then shoot it with a candy red on top so it's nice red paint job with the with or metal flake on the rough you know old school paint job I've thought about going with a satin paint um, just to give it that old hot rod look or I just may gloss it out I haven't decided that either that's still kinda up in the air so I mean it'll get primer within like probably the next couple hours in all honesty and then it'll 
most likely, you know, hopefully I'm going to work on some other parts for it, finish up those tanks in the back, and get those all mounted and finish up that and put a little, you know, small slot in the back for the trunk and um, work on that rear hinge a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, and I'm going to work on the front end. Because I have an idea to make the front end a little functional so I can kind of turn the wheels when I want to. But, um, yeah. So, you know, as of right now, that's what it looks like. Hopefully in the next few days, I'll have like, you know, part three of this video up. And it'll be in primer or maybe even in paint. Um, so... Yeah, we're going to keep it short, keep it sweet, and like always, until next time, later.